What is happening, budget builders, and welcome back to the channel. We're back here with that 81 Rabbit pickup truck that we rescued from the scrapyard, which in our last video, you saw us get the new motor put in. And in today's video, we're gonna get the lift kit put on this truck, the new wheels and tires, we're gonna give it a full detail, and a bunch of other fun stuff to bring this truck back. with I want to start on the lift and I want to start in the rear so we can see where the rear is going to sit and then when we put the front coilovers on we can kind of adjust it accordingly. I'm not positive exactly how well this is going to work but what we've got here is a four inch universal lift kit from Speedway. It was a Speedway Motors and it's basically just some big aluminum blocks with big long U-bolts that we're going to try to put on here and get this thing lifted up four inches in the rear. We can start taking our U-bolts loose here. It's perfect. Oh, it's like it wants it. Probably the only way <laughs> I like it a lot. Look at that. Now to take care of the front coilovers, we've already taken our two bolts out from here. We have the bottom drum. with our old struts and we'll be using the solo works coilovers these are really nice coilovers i've used them on quite a few caddies and these work really good oh. voila these coilovers do come with a lubricant that you put on the threads before we start adjusting them Not exactly sure what I was trying to do lifting this with lowering coilovers. Brain fart on my part, I guess. I was <laughs> not even thinking about the capabilities of the strut, the coil, more than enough to raise it up as high as we want to. The strut itself has a max height of 1.7 inches lower than factory. So that's not gonna work, but these are gonna work great. We've got plenty of other Mark 1s, we'll put them on. Not a big deal. I think the next step here though is to go ahead and build our own lift kit for this thing. First thing we've got here is our original strut, which is in decent shape. Not perfect, it could use new ones, but I think I'm gonna let these ride for now. With that being said, the first step to our lift is going to be swapping out that coil there. No, I'm not gonna do it like this. <laughs> I finally have you know, the right tools, not finally. I mean, I've been using those forever, what are you talking about? Anyways, this here is a Mark IV Jetta or Golf coil or strut. What this is gonna do is give us just over a two inch lift just by replacing the spring, but we're not gonna be, the biggest thing is you, you can't put too much coil because you'll max out your strut. This is gonna give us enough lift that once there's weight on there, 
this is going to ride good without completely bottoming out. And I think that'll do okay. So first, let's go ahead, get this spring pulled off, pull this one off, and swap these across. Simple as that. Now building the other inch and a half ish of the lift, we're going to use an old strut cap. But what we have to do is get the bushing out and all of this stuff. Now it may not be have the prettiest welds in the world. I did get a little bit of wind coming in. That's why you can see a little bit of spatter there. It's too hot not to have the doors open. Well, I'm pretty happy with them for the most part. Not my prettiest work, but the biggest thing was I laid a ton of heat. This was like glowing gobby goop. As you can see, tons of penetration. And I wanted this to be extremely strong. This thing right here is permanent. This thing's never coming apart. And two, the biggest thing is you got to think we're only doing, you know, maybe an inch and a half of lift there. So I don't think we're ever going to have a safety issue or anything. And this should be way overkill. And I think it'll work just fine. Run your bolts up and through. We are ready to go. With the lift done, you know what time it is. Something I have been dying to do since we pulled this thing out of the junkyard. Let's clean this thing up. Tons of mold, mildew, and grime, and because we have all the decals, I don't want to go pressure washing this thing. So it is going to be a spray off, magic eraser, or spray, 
magic racer and then spray off try to get this thing clean because it is an absolute mess before i start getting this thing all wet i guess i should tackle the bed i'm a little nervous to find out what's under here because this thing is bad Well, it's a bit crispy in there. That was sort of to be expected though. Definitely used as a work truck. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Uh, <laughs> not terrible, not as bad as I've seen them. Definitely not a Northern truck. I think the best bet for this is to put a wood bed floor in it. What do you think? I think it'll kind of give it, not now, down the road here in the near future, but I think uh, a wood slat style, old school kind of truck look would be pretty neat in the back of this thing. But first let's finish getting this thing clean. I've seen plenty of comments about <laughs> getting this old windshield out of here. I guess it's probably time to do that. Now we know what time it is. I do love black paint because it really does transform incredibly. Buff, buff, buff time. Let's get this thing buffed out. I am going to go over the decals lightly, very carefully, try to bring a little bit more life back to them. Hopefully they don't just completely disintegrate.
Wow, what a cool looking truck. And with it looking this sharp, I'm ready to show you guys the wheels and tires and put them on here. I want to see how they look. So I wanted to kind of go for the four motion or the uh, the golf country look. Definitely don't want to pay Ronald set Ronald, however you say the wheels. Don't, definitely don't want to pay the kind of money that came on it. So I bought the these are Volkswagen flying wheels, I think is what they're called. And so this would have been off of like a 1999 Mark III, like the last year of the Mark III Volkswagen Jetta. And they're a pretty good looking set of wheels. They have that similar look. They were just $40 a piece from LKQ versus spending the kind of crazy, you know, thousand dollars for a set of wheels. And they come in 14s. And with that, I got a set of 195, 75, 14. So 26 in, they're 26 total because they are gnarly, gnarly, knobby Goodyear retreads. I don't know why, but this is just kind of the look that I had in my mind. I've got it. I wish they were white letter. I do have a set of Goodyear stencils to paint on here later, possibly. Uh, I do get it. I did get a new set of hubcaps to also put on here. Let's go to bolt it in this truck and see how it looks. Taking a look here with the factory strut, that tire is going to rub. It's really close. I am afraid we are going to end up needing some camber plates because it does tuck a little bit, so we need to kick it in. But at the same time, not much of a spacer, but we will need just a little bit of a spacer. I think we can even just get one. I'll probably want to get a hub-centric one just to be safe with these big knobby tires. When you do turn, it does rub this lip a little bit. Not a big deal. That's pretty easy. We just fold it over and in, and then this is kind of kicked out just not supposed to be and it rubs there so we need to kick that in oh tons of clearance now look at that as far as new tail lights, there's a set of tail lights that I've always wanted, and it's the candy canes, like the Euro style candy canes, and you rarely find these. And when they pop up, they sell out super quick. So I was excited to be able to pick up a set of these to put in this truck. And they are just aftermarket, but they look to be in really nice, really nice quality for what they are. We finished, I guess you could say the pretty side. This side's gonna be a lot of fun. Before we even buff or anything, we've got a huge dip right here, a big crunch right here, a massive dip right here, and a big dent in the back here. This is all part of being on the ground with no wheels and getting shoved around that scrap yard, I'm sure. The junkyard there for as many years as it has it may have been beat up like this previous i don't know but it is beat up it's not going to be perfect it's going to look like an ocean down the side of it but let's see if we can at least make it a little straighter i have no idea but hey we're gonna try it i don't know where this basketball came from it just appeared in the shop so it's getting used as a uh, fender straightener That is beautiful. You see that? Yeah. 
I'm a body man. I'm a paintless dent scratch repair man now. So we went ahead and pulled the gas cap on the whole cover here. As you can see, that gives us access up into there other than we did go ahead and drop the tank because we needed to make sure. Oh, yep, oh, yep, gross. Got a little good stuff. Yeah, hey, it's straight diesel. I don't see any water. What kind of shape it was in because it did not have a gas cap anyways. And I got this pulled to the side. Now we have plenty of room to slide our basketball up in there to try to straighten that panel. Now my pressure bacon in. Well, it's because this thing was in it. It, this thing was in it like this, but it was the only way I could get it in there. And so, <laughs> we ain't got no more basketball. It doesn't load up. <laughs> basketball only made it so far, but way better. This fender's a little warble here, but pretty straight. Door pulled off a little bit. I need to reattach it. We obviously need to work on the rocker. Still want to do some work here. I've got it kind of bubbled out. I need to kind of ping it around and get it to drop back in. And we basically got the end here back straight. Wow, it's way better. Spent some time rocking out the culture wall, knocking out the rest of the buff and wax on this side of the truck. Went ahead and knocked out the roof. As you can see, the side of the truck is looking really good. It's so much better. It's still a little warbly. I probably might work on the fender a little more. And I do need to work more here and then address the bottom of the door. And of course, the bottom of that rocker. But to start with, from the way this thing looked, it is completely, completely different. And way better, by far. Also went ahead and got a cheap set of Amazon center caps. Got those popped on. And with those on, they do set those wheels off quite a bit. Up front here, you'll notice the four bolts and the bumper hanging down, popping it off. I'm not positive what we're gonna do yet, but I wanna kinda check a few things out and see what's the right look for it. I did have this decent GTI bumper laying around. I kinda wanna see what it looks like. Not bad, although it doesn't look terrible. I feel like there's not enough contrast there. I kind of like the chrome bumper, so on and so forth of the old cars. And you have the, so many vibrant contrasts here that black on black just kind of blends all together. I think it looks kind of like a blob on the front. <laughs> kind of my idea on this is to maybe do a tubular front bumper on this to kind of give it that off-roady style that you see on like little Toyota Tacomas and stuff and continue with the wackiness of this truck that we're kind of going towards. Tell me what y'all think about that, if that would be a good look. Might even do a little wrap around, uh, I don't know, yeah. Maybe a little brush guard or something to come around the sides. I don't know, I think it'd be kind of cool to, to do that, get a pipe bender and start figuring out that kind of fab side of things, like doing a bumper like that. Well, that is gonna wrap it up for this episode. I am so excited about how this truck is starting to look and come together. It's totally different weird quirky and that's what we love i really hope you all are enjoying it we did pull it out here to get the perfect shot up here on the hill here back in the bottoms and i think it just it's cool it ended up literally monsooning that's why we're drenched but i think it was worth it for the shot let me know what you all think of the build so far kind of the where we should go with it what we should do maybe do those roll bar bumpers front and rear Obviously, there's a little bit more that I need to do suspension-wise up front. I'm going to add a little bit to the lower control arms, probably build our own custom set just to dial that suspension angle in and everything so we get it just where we need it. And a few other odds and ends, but I think in the next episode, we'll be driving this thing. But that is going to wrap it up. If you are enjoying this and you like these crazy quirky cars, these rescues, these rebuilds, will it runs, be sure to subscribe button and notification bell. And if you have been with us all, if you have been with us, we really do appreciate all the love and support. Peace out and catch you all on the flip side. <music>